So let's kick off with what we have seen in the cinema this week. And I think that the big thing, uh, if we're going to say the big thing, which I think both you have seen, is... Remind me again, what is it? Bullet Train. Bullet Train. Bullet train that's the it. Bullet I knew. Train, yeah. I knew it was big and it was flashy and it had like lights and cameras and all that kind of stuff. So tell me... So, Sean, kick us. Tell us, tell us about Bullet Train. Well, about Bullet Train, okay. Well, well Sharon would probably be able to give you an outline more and I, I could give you more of a reaction because we actually saw this together. We went to see this together. Yeah. Okay, all right, so, cool. Sharon, Sharon, you want to take it away with the outline then? I just get, We discussed this last night and we were saying, how are we going to summarise? So this. That's, what I mean. That's why I put it on you because you're the best at that. <laughs> and Sean said, I'll let you to do that one. <laughs> so I had some... <laughs> I had so, some so basically, it is... The majority of this, this... Well, the whole story is set on the bullet train and crossing Japan. Yes. And we meet this group of characters. The main character we see, they're all known by their pseudonyms or by their, yeah, their nicknames, nicknames, basically. Yeah. Nicknames, yeah. And the, the main character we see it through is called Ladybug, and that is played by Brad Pitt. And he is a, we don't know if he's just an assassin, but he is someone who but is employed to do certain jobs that yeah. are probably not quite legal. And he's called a, a snatch and grab man, and he has been employed to go onto a train and to steal a briefcase. That's his job. And as he works his way down the train, the sort of story progresses as he makes this from different compartments down through the train. Um, he meets these different characters. Now, there are two brothers um, who are there, two Englishmen, who are there to do a job of their own, which is Lemon and Tangerine. Kidnapped. Yep. <laughs> Orange and Lemon and terine, Tangerine. And they are there to basically take a, an errant son of a crime lord and the same suitcase and take it back to the crime lord's to the crime lord who is known as the white, the white killer death. white death the white death the white death and yeah. so that they, he encounters them and then he also encounters a a female assassin called the hornet is it yeah the hornet <laughs> who specializes in um, poisoning people <laughs> and she has her own motivations for doing this and yeah. then they also encounter another uh disparate group of assassins i won't name them all because mm. i'll get horribly muddled up but as basically all these and it turns out that all these seemingly sort of separated characters are all there for um there's not a not a coincidence that they're all there at the same time there are larger things afoot and yeah. as the story progresses and as the train hurtles along its track so does the story pick up pace and all these different groups start colliding and having these mad, bad, and dangerous encounters. So the story sort of picks up pace along with the train and the tension and the stakes sort of ratcheted up as we go along. Okay, was, I, I, can see, I can see Sean, brilliant. I can see Sean that was, itching. No, 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 that was brilliant, Sean. That was so good, just so good at doing that. I'd have just gone, oh, this is just like all over the place and the crazy, you know, with <laughs> loads of ca different characters doing loads of different things. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, it was, it was, wasn't it, Chan? It was just, it was a little bit crazy. It was a little bit all over the place. Um, but yeah, I mean, there was some great characters, and and the who's the actor that I asked you about? Because Aaron Taylor Johnson. Sort of Aaron Taylor Johnson. I mean, I, I, he was he terrific. Tangerine. He, he plays Tangerine. He was terrific. I really, really liked his character a lot, and I had no idea. I was sort of thinking, I've seen him, I've seen him, but I don't know. And then Sharon and that to remind me of some of the films he'd been in like Godzilla and stuff but yeah because I mean I think he is he American in Tozen no, he's English. English he is English he is, he is English. English oh right that's fine because that, that was that, well actually that Lemon is American isn't he the guy who Lemon. plays Lemon yeah yeah Brian American. Tyree Brian, Brian, Brian Tyree Henry <laughs> he's, he's American yeah they but they were terrific they were like for, for me they were like the highlights you know they were yeah. they, uh, I really liked that pair um so yeah so it's it's um yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty action-packed all the way through, even if it is a bit all over the place. You know, it's a bit sort of, a, a little bit, would you say John Wickish, Sharon? Would I was going to say John Wick on a train. Wick, train. John Wick on a train, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with a bit of silly CGI and well, well, some, it, some it, clever dialogue. It is directed by one of the directors of John Wick. It's directed by David Leach. Ah, so, okay. so uh, who because he and Chad Stahelski, who directed John Wick, their whole thing was that they were stuntmen beforehand. So whenever they do a film, the action is like the key thing. The action is the key thing that they always focus on. So, so okay, I, I've got a question to ask about this film because obviously I, I feel like this is going to be a genre film. The synopsis that you've given Sharon, I feel like that tells you everything that you need to know about this film. It's like there's a whole bunch of assets on this train. Stuff happens. <laughs> get it. Get get on with it. it, it I, I feel like that. I don't need. I don't need to know that much more about.
about it. Now, the trailers I've seen for this film have had me slightly worried because it looks like the kind of film where I think I feel like the actors might be having more fun. Now, it, it, it looks like the actors are having a lot of fun while they're having while they're making the film. It looks like they had a lot of fun while they're making the film, even from the trailer. But my worry is that it looks like they might be having more fun than I would have watching the film. What it, am I? Uh, is is that is that fair? Uh, well, I mean, I think it was it was sort of bits of film. Some of it was really, really enjoyable and some of it was fun and some of it was not so good. So it's a, it's a bit of a mixed bag, really, I think, um, it, because I say it's all over the place, but there's some witty dialogue in it. Um, yeah, there's some good cameos as well, aren't there? Some good Yeah, 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 don't tell me the cameos. Don't tell me the cameos. That's the only cameo I'm going to mention. Yeah, we're not. Don't tell me the cameos. I might actually still see this film. All right, okay. Oh, you're going to go watch this one then, yeah? So, well, it's like the trailers. It's like the only thing in the cinemas, guys. And I haven't been in the cinema in like a month. I, I, I literally haven't been in the cinema in about a month. I, it, I, I don't think I've, I haven't taken this break, this longer break from cinema since COVID. Right. Wow. And it's it's just kind of I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa what's happening whoa, it, they haven't released anything okay so okay if we're gonna go with that we're gonna say action film it looks very very bright and neon like neon yeah. soaked from the trailers and all that but how many stars would we give this? Mm. I don't know I, I I have to think on this because I did I did quite thinking I was thinking about it all day and I was thinking I did I did quite enjoy it but I don't think it's quite worth a a four I don't think it's quite worth a four I mean I did enjoy I thought it was solid. I thought it was a solid film. I thought the characters were really good. Really enjoyed the character, especially Lemon and Tangerine for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it probably might be worth another watch. So, and then maybe just to, to rewatch it. So, get your oh, okay, okay. So, so let me put it this way it's not bad enough for you to say, I'm not watching this again. This is, this yeah, is good enough uh, for you to say, I'm going to watch that. I would watch that film yes, again. I would watch this film again. But, okay. but as, it, well, as it stands well, at the present time, I'll go with a, I'll go with a three. For me well i'll take that as a recommendation sharon and i would agree i again with most action films once you've seen them you think i've seen it but mm. even though you know what happens i would i would watch it again yeah and i would <laughs> rarely bring myself to watch an action film more than once mm. but no I, I enjoyed it i thought it was funny i liked the cameos i liked there were some gen- i thought some of the movie there were some moving scenes it becomes a surprise to you that there are moments of you know sort of death mayhem and destruction on this film and some of them i was genuinely thought oh actually i genuinely feel like i've connected to that character a little bit <laughs> the fact that it's like fast furious and a bit nuts so i would give it a three with a with a with a, a kick caveat. so yeah. i think it's got a, it's a three plus but not quite a four <laughs> yeah. so it's certainly entertaining fun worth a watch worth a rewatch. um but i couldn't elevate it to a anything more but yeah this is it was a good solid three with yeah. a with a jolt of adrenaline good laughs right. and action yeah yeah oh. okay good stuff good stuff all right we have five